Morning, we're talking about The Dream Whisperer. It is a really great PBS documentary unraveling a saga of triumph amid adversity. Yeah, before Dick Barnett rose to basketball stardom in the NBA, he led an HBCU team to three championships in the shadows of the civil rights movement. Now he's spearheading a movement for their long-awaited recognition from the White House. I spoke with filmmaker Eric Drath about Barnett's decades-long cruise, 65 years after his team's historic triumph. My name is Dick Barnett, and I have a story that must be told. The most exciting shooter in basketball. Dick the documentary Barnett. is extraordinary. Um, tell everybody what it's about, because it's a story that I think most folks did not know about. Yeah, well, the Dream Whisperer is really about a team from 1957, 58, and 59, an HBCU team, then called Tennessee A&I, now called TSU, that won three championships in a row. They were the first and only team ever to three-peat in uh, basketball championships. They basically uh, were forgotten about in history. You know, instead of a ticket tape parade and, and a trip to the White House, uh, they came back from this integrated play uh, and had to endure what was going on in this country at that time. Just coming out of uh, the civil rights era or in the civil rights era, they were treated you know, very much like second class citizens. But the movie's not just about this team and what they endured. The movie's about its captain, legendary New York Knicks player, Dick Barnett, and his pursuit today over the last 12 years to get the team remembered and to get them inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. It really is a testament to Dick Barnett and, and his pursuit of, of what was, was, should have been done a long time ago, in fact, 65 years ago. So in 2011, I decided to help wake people up. You talked to a lot of people, um, among them Coach John Thompson, of course, local legend here, well, it's a legend period, he's in the Hall of Fame. This was one of his final interviews, is that correct? I believe it was his final interview. While the movie has a happy ending of getting the team into the Hall of Fame, there's one final exclamation mark that Dick is still determined to realize, and that's the team getting to the White House. Over 50 uh, congressmen have already signed a letter uh, asking the White House to please see these guys before it's too late. And the window is definitely closing because yeah. they're not getting younger. Hopefully that can happen soon. The team made it into the Hall of Fame just a few years ago. The Dream Whisperer won the Audience Award at the 30th Annual Pan-African Film and Arts Festival in Los Angeles. You can watch the documentary on PBS throughout the month of February.